This morning, despite growing international calls for a ceasefire, Israel is forging ahead with its bombing campaign in Gaza. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, during a surprise visit with his troops, proclaimed, we are not stopping. <laughs> Netanyahu saying the war will continue until Hamas is destroyed. Just hours earlier, one of the deadliest airstrikes for civilians since the war began. The Hamas-run Gaza Health Ministry says at least 70 people were killed in an airstrike on this refugee camp, dozens of women and children among the victims. Also over the weekend, at least 17 Israeli soldiers were killed, sparking renewed protests in Israel. The prime minister was heckled in parliament by families of Israeli hostages held by Hamas. We need someone to tell us what they're going to do. We need everyone to know that Romy and, and many more hostages are still had held in Gaza. And we want people to remember them and to not forget that they're there and they need to come home. Neighboring Egypt is now proposing a new ceasefire plan. It includes a mediated release of hostages and the formation of a new Palestinian government in Gaza. Neither side outright rejected the offer, raising hopes for a new round of diplomacy. But there's also growing concern about a wider conflict in the region. Iran says a high-ranking Iranian general was killed during an Israeli airstrike in Syria yesterday, an Iranian political group now calling for revenge. The U.S. is hoping to work with Israel to scale down operations in Gaza. Axios reports one of Prime Minister Netanyahu's top confidants will visit the White House today, where officials plan to discuss a time frame for the next phase of the war. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York.